Hey friends, it's me, Erin, your friendly neighborhood energy alchemist with today's Schumann Resonance Report for Friday, March the 1st. My last day in Mexico. Hmm. All right, so when we look at the graph, we are into the stitching pattern. I don't know if you guys remember, but this happened a few months ago where we're getting new, old, new, old, new, old, and it creates the stitching pattern. This is a way of integrating new energy into our system while also releasing old energy at the same time. It is primarily affecting all the chakras, but the ones that are affected the most are the upper chakras. Crown, third eye, and throat are really getting lots of energy, as you can see from this nice big graph here. So what does that mean? For a lot of people, this is bringing up a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear about the future, what you're gonna do, am I making the right decisions, that sort of thing. And as a matter of fact, last night I had a ton of dreams. I kept waking up from them, and I don't remember all of them, but I know that they were very stressful. Like for example, in one dream I woke, I had, I, I went to do like this, and I pulled out a big handful of hair, like the size of a wig, it's lots of hair. And typically, from my understanding, that's a sign of stress, a sign of anxiety about the future or about what you, how, how you will see yourself in the future. But I'm not a dream interpreter, that's just my feeling for me. And the other dream I had was I felt like I suddenly came to and I was standing in the middle of a shower and I didn't know how I got there. And I started to panic because I didn't know how I got there, I didn't know how to get out, and I thought, oh no. But then I woke up. So be mindful today because there's a lot of anxiety flowing around as all this energy starts to stitch in and out of itself. You may also have a little bit of a spicy throat this morning as all these new energies are being integrated and you might have that anxiety kind of prickling the back of your mind a little bit. So be mindful that you aren't, you know, word vomiting. Also in my dreams last night, I heard a specific phrase that I wanted to share with you guys. I don't remember the context of what it was, but what the phrase was is don't let someone dig holes in your garden just so they can plant weeds. And I thought, damn, okay. All right, so here's our cards for today. The first card we got was intuition. This is twofold. This is telling you to listen to your intuition, but it's also recognizing that learning to listen to your intuition can be very stressful. It can cause a lot of anxiety. It can make you feel like you're losing your mind, all those things. But you are being asked to trust your intuition, recognizing that it will make you feel vulnerable because you are listening to a part of you that normally you don't listen to. Instead of listening to everybody else, you're listening to you, friend, and that can make you feel like you're making the wrong decision or that you're vulnerable. But your guides are saying, pay attention to your dreams and your desires. Do not not let that vulnerability pull you away really it's time to really focus on these daydream about what you want to do where you want to see yourself in a year and build it up as big as possible and then leave it there do things that used to make you happy as a child the idea behind the nostalgia card is to reach into your childhood and really feed that inner child allow that child to play whatever that looks like that could be getting a happy meal at mcdonald's it could be swinging on the swings it could be swimming in the ocean whatever it is lean into that because that will give you back your feeling of empowerment empowerment is where you want to sit especially right now as all these changes are happening in our lives you guys this is a big deal there's a lot of energy changes there's a lot happening. I've been getting all kinds of visions about things changing in the world and how important it is for us to focus on us and not all the catastrophes happening around us. You have a choice every single day where you put your focus. Choose to focus on those things that you can actually do something about and that help you feel better about yourself. You can't do anything about so much going on in the world that the more you focus on it, the more your anxiety is gonna, know what I'm saying? And like I said, it's my last morning here in Cancun, so here's the beautiful sunrise. Ah, listen to those waves. Man, March 1st, spring is coming. Ah, it's a beautiful day, friends. Such a beautiful day.